Hey guys, Strike here, and welcome to Five Nights Warriors 3. Now, I was playing um, Five Nights Warriors 2 again to make a video for night 6, but I died at the 5am marks, and since I didn't beat it, I'm just not gonna upload it at all. So, for now, we'll just move on to this game, see what it has in store. Daytime quest, custom night. Lead a normal round to Okay. Hey yo. Hey Wario. Hey yo. Um. What happened to your face, though? What happened to your face? I don't know. But let's move on. Normal or hard mode? What, hard mode? The the game the, the the what the Five Nights at Warriors games are tough enough. A hard mode? What? No. Play normal. Oh, it's the first location. Okay, we got some like cutscenes, I guess. Now, none of the other games had cutscenes. So, well. Actually, they did, but not at the beginning. Unless the second game did, which I've already forgotten. Um, anyway. Oh, hey, Peach. Oh, so you were laying under the location. So is the law behind the second game that Peach dies? Something? I don't know. I don't know if that's what that's trying to imply. Yeah. Well, who are you? Oh, it's the this warrior-like thing that we've seen. We got an tune before in the first game. Spot the murderer. This guy's been murdering. So I can use you. No, I can use this. Okay. Tip. On the camera pad, the red buttons show the rooms where the characters of that night begin their movements. Okay. Is this going to be completely different to Five Nights at Freddy's 3, like how... Final Warriors 2 was completely different. What the hell is this? What the hell is this? Oh, this is the audio. Wait, that's not audio. We got hands! Let's go! Hello. Oh, thank God. You're in the house, right? Um, allow me to introduce myself. Let's oh, go again. My Let's name go. is Max. I'm one of the employees at your new job, but Stalker. that's not important right now. Wait, no, it's what not. What is important is for you to get out of there. I know someone hired it you has to the watch same over accent. the house tonight because the family who is living there is on vacation, blah, blah, blah. Well, no, it doesn't. Well, I don't know who told you that this house needed some sort of protection, hey. but I'm pretty it's sure Canadian. it was a prankster. You need to get out of there. That house you're in is apparently you extremely out. haunted, and according this to some files I have here, nobody has been living there for years. You've got to get out of this years. fucking house. No. I'm, I'm not sure what kind of hauntings that exist in that house, but one thing is clear. I'm sure they are trying to get to you by playing with your mind. Oh, that's you might go crazy and see the exit door as a hallway, for example. Stay focused, all right? I could come over, what but I'm doing? afraid I that can make things worse. collected that? Sure. Now, you must not move from the spot you're on during the night. Oh! Right? It's extremely dangerous in this situation is a good thing you put up the cameras throughout the building use hey, them warrior. well what the fuck you can only use them for a limited amount of time at once what was that watch the power meter to make sure you don't need to charge it all the way back up if someone should come in on the left hand side look yes. to the opposite side of the room and wait don't look at your camera just wait you don't want to make eye contact understand okay Though in this room they might sneak up behind you as well, what? I'm guessing you will then see them in the mirror above the fireplace. Oh. If this should happen, immediately oh, pull up your camera to make them go away. Okay. Got it? 
you should also watch them on the camera as often as you can, as it somehow makes them go a bit slower, I think. <sighs> Once the sun rises, you are free to look for the exit, but remember, as I said, you might have trouble finding it. Heck, <laughs> they might even shut the doors and windows completely. If you don't find a way out by tomorrow night, I'll, I'll give you another call. Who is this? But do not, and I repeat, do not stay in the same room two nights in a row, okay? That will make you easier to find. Good night. Okay, that's interesting. So what do I do if there's someone on the left and someone at the middle? Am I just dead? I'm confused. Oh, I see. It's got that kind of meter-like insanity. Okay. I see. So see someone on the left. Look at the right and wait. Someone in the middle. Bring up the camera. That's what I got from it. Okay. I see. Understand. Okay, hi, Wario again. Whoa. Am I good? What does that mean? I don't know what any of this means. What was the sound effect? Oh, there's Wario. Is there Waluigi on the first night? Like, the first two games? I don't see anyone. Footsteps again. Stop it. Oh! Okay, Wario's on the left. Okay. Oh, okay. Gonna wait till that sound effect stops. Okay, we're good. We are good. Seems like there's only Wario today. I mean, this night. Wait, so what happens if my camera runs out? Is that an easter egg or something? I don't understand that. Uh, this might be a tough final to Freddy's... I mean... I thought I died there. I thought, the, I thought the monitor ran out of charge or something and for some reason it killed me, but... No, I didn't. I'm, I'm still alive. I'm still alive and kicking. What's this? Oh, you gotta hide in different rooms? Um, the bathroom was at that camera. There's many cameras around the kitchen, so it's probably smartest to not go the, to the kitchen. But I feel like since it's more riskier, there's gonna be collectible there or something that I need to get. I feel like there's going to be a good ending and we have to collect the click the correct rooms and collect stuff from each room and that's probably going to lead us to like a good ending because with these finance at three like games they usually have a bad ending and a good ending and since i collected an item in the first room i'm assuming like if i go to kitchen there's going to be you know another one i don't know but i'm going to go to the bathroom anyway Wait, what? Hill recharger? What? What is this? Huh? Um, hello? You're
you're still there. Oh, okay, oh, okay, God. okay. I'm just glad that you're okay. Now, where are you? The bathroom. Mm -hmm. All right, good choice. Though I'm Definitely. unsure if you have a lot to protect yourself with in there. Nope. Hmm. Wait, is there a medicine cabinet in there? If there Sorry. is, take a look inside. See if you can find some medicine of some sort. I've heard that the effect that is created as soon as you take some types of medicine will drive the spirits away. Don't ask how. Maybe the reaction the medicine creates makes them think that you're dead or something. Either way, I think this is your only hope. Stay quiet, track them on the camera, and if they should find you, quickly swallow a pill or something. Then they should hopefully go away. Take the strongest medicine you can find. However, strong medicines often come with some side effects like temporary uh. loss of long distance vision, loss of short distance vision, paralysis, etc. But don't worry, one these would side not be effects good. will go away shortly. Keep moving during the day, okay? And I'll call you again tomorrow if you're still there. Be careful. Okay, so we have to use pills to get rid of them. And if we use a certain one, it will give us that kind of effect. Wait, who are you? Who the fuck are you? Oh, that's what happens when it runs out. a bad start. Enemies appear in the doorway in front of you. Once they reach you, quickly swallow a pill. They appear in the doorway? Huh? Quickly swallow a pill to trick them, making them go... Wait, what? They appear in the doorway? What do you mean? I need to pinch that. 